Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Hope you enjoyed that power of violence yesterday. When you get through 10 bands in 15 minutes, you know you've got a good Monday grind session on the go. Super sick. Uh, now, last week I checked out all my videos again because we had some really long videos last week. Well, they were all 20 minutes plus. Um, and the last one on Friday was 50 minutes long. I couldn't believe it when I looked down and it was already 48 minutes long and I was like, oh my God, no one's going to listen to this one, uh, even if the tracks are longer. Because I just, there's a kind of music that I could just end up talking and talking and talking about it and unless someone stops me and catches me, uh, which they can't do here, um, you know, I just end up going on and on and round in circles talking about crap. And what I decided was last week, I must have had one on me because it was a, a wind up to my birthday or something. But anyway, um, I just ended up talking a load of crap. Not a load of crap, but trying to make a point and halfway through that point, going off on a tangent on another point, and then halfway through that point, going off on another tangent, uh, and then trying to wrap all three points up at once. It was like an inception of points. Uh, and I even lost myself with it in some points there. I thought, oh my God, what must people think listening to this crap? Um, so what I'm going to try and do this week is be a bit more mindful of that and try and be a bit more succinct with uh, you know what I'm saying. And if I'm making a point, I'll just stick to that one point rather than trying to make four points at once uh, and failing at them all. Now, Yesterday, we didn't have any bands in the queue, and I was going to pull, be pulling out three bands for this week, uh, and just whatever I had in the queue next. And then all of a sudden, within about three or four hours, an absolute flood of uh, priority submissions, and now we're absolutely booked up for the rest of the week with exclusive subs and the rest of it. Uh, we've got some new bands to check out as well, which is super dope. And what we've got today, which is super dope, is uh, a one-man band as well. And if you watch this channel, you know I absolutely friggin' love one-man bands. Uh, it's just the best thing going at this as far as I'm concerned at the moment. It doesn't matter what kind of music you're playing. It's not that, you know, the genre is not one man band. It's just the fact that there's a one person getting the job done of a whole bunch of people and the fact that they've got the freedom there to make whatever they want. It doesn't matter. There's no one else going to be saying, oh, I don't like that riff or let's not do that because it's not, you know, not commercially viable or whatever. Uh, you just do what you like, doesn't matter. Uh, and this guy's doing that. This is Neil Thomas. I'll just get his info here on the screen. He's a melodic alternative metal band with post hardcore. He's got some uh, pop punk elements in there as well. This is Caustic Waves. It's a new project. He's from Glasgow. My dad's from Glasgow as well. He's got a single today for us called Idiocracy. <laughs> and he said, I'm oh, sorry about all the Trump clips in there. I said, don't worry about it. We've had a lot of Trump clips on this channel, although that was mainly 2020 when we were doing that. Says he's a full-time software engineer by the day, music producer by night once the kids are asleep. He's a busy father or two with a lifelong passion for music that's culminated in his latest solo project, Caustic Waves. I'm not sure if he's been in bands before or whatnot, uh, but he's now decided to go solo, do it all of himself. I looked at some of the videos on his channel because he's got quite a decent amount of content as well, which has all gone up in the last few months. Uh, so he's busy with it as well. And you find that once you once you get your feet stuck in, uh, kind of your foot in the door of doing one man band stuff and recording and all the rest of it, you just get lost in it because there's so much to do. You just get inspired by, oh, let's do this, let's do that, let me, let's me, let make this kind of tune. Because I've always wanted to make it and no one else, I've never known anyone else who wanted to make this kind of music, so I'm going to do it myself and stuff like that. You just get absolutely buzzed off it. So let's check out his newest track. This is Idiocracy. He's got an official vid for it as well, which is very nice. So here we go.
Man, I'm cringing in this video. Set sail to the ends of the world. Hit the wall and then crash and burn. <laughs> Reject the vaccines and medicine. In case there's poison with sand. Look what he's doing with the bass in this one. Great job. Man, I just love checking out one-man bands when they come through like this with every box ticked and doing a nice job of everything. Uh, even the bass and everything as well. Just was. I'm not sure if this guy was even a bassist. Let's see if we can see on his channel or anything like that because the bass in that one was way more than a guitarist who's a guitarist doing a bit of bass because they normally just do root note stuff and stuff like that. I can tell you that because that's what I do myself. And he wasn't doing that at all in this. He was way up and down the neck, working with the harmonies, working with the scales, doing extra jazzy bits and stuff like that. And you don't tend to get that out of a one-man band who's a, mainly a guitarist. So... He knows what he's doing on the bass. It really cut through the mix as well. Um, I wouldn't have minded a bit more crunch on the bass. It was a kind of mm, mm kind of bass tone. Uh, and it is always nice to get a bit of a clean mid to high end frequency kind of one, 2K mark crunch in there. Uh, just to cut through a little bit more. But it cut through the mix really nicely. You could hear it the whole time, doing its scales, doing its things, separate to the guitars. Really nice. You know, it's a step up, as I say, from a typical 
one man band guitarist stuff because that would have just been root notes all the way through because uh, that's what I do as well. Uh, so great job on the bass. Could hear all the members of the band nicely. And I know I'm saying he's all the members of the band, but he's only he's the only member of the band. But I'm saying you could hear all the different instruments of the band. I should say. The only thing I'm thinking of this one in terms of the mix is. The vocal was nice and up there, had loads of layering, sounded right. He's got the right tone, you know, vocal tone for this kind of music as well. Kind of high pitched, uh, but it goes well with the music. Suits, it's the right kind of tone for the for the sound. Um, but I did, I couldn't work out whether the vocal was just a tad too loud for the rest of the music, or whether it was just that the guitars could have done with coming up just a couple of dB, um, because it just it just felt like the the vocal was a little bit kind of higher and sat more on top of the mix it was pushed down a little bit i would have just liked to see it just a little bit closer uh not a buried vocal because it is important to have a lead vocal in this kind of music uh, and i don't think it's you know it's not atmospheric music where you'd want a buried vocal but i think we should i would have liked to have seen the music and the vocal just a bit closer together in terms of loudness because um, it just seems a bit too vocal heavy that was all very very bad I'm talking 1 2 dB that's all uh, super dope done it all himself software engineer by day music producer by night absolutely love that he's done an absolutely sick job of it as well uh, creating the music that he loves and I tell you now watching that video you had a great name for the drag, Idiocracy. It feels like, well, if you actually watch Idiocracy back again, if you haven't seen that film in a while, uh, we're like halfway into the film now. This isn't the start of the film where they're just figuring stuff out. We're like deep into that film already, Idiocracy. And when you watch all those clips that we had on today, especially the British ones, man, my heart sinks. Uh, and I'm sure that's why this guy made that music and called it that and had those lyrics in there as well, because it does feel like, particularly in the UK, and I'm sure if you're an American, you feel the same way as well, that shit's going the wrong way at the moment. We're led by absolute idiots. You know, it's like, where's all the adults gone in politics? Crazy. But I don't want to get too political on this show, but when you see that many clips of Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage, and all that garbage, uh, yeah, it really does. It makes me embarrassed, is what all I can say. It just makes me embarrassed, and I'm sure it makes Neil embarrassed, and that's the whole point of him making this track and that video and all the rest of it. So you could say, well, at least, you know, the crap in the world has actually inspired Neil to make some music and the lyrics and all the rest of it, so some of good's come out of it. That's the optimist view of it. Um, so we'll go with that. At least Neil made some cool music because of the result. The absolute state of America and the UK at the moment. There you go. Keep up the great work, Neil. I'm straight on board with this. Uh, I'm always straight on board with every one-man band that comes through the channel, but particularly the ones who I can see are doing a great job uh, and putting their hand to all the, all the aspects of the music nicely, coming together with a solid piece of work. Um, with a video and all the rest of it that goes with the vibe of whatever's going on in, in the music and stuff as well it's got a purpose to it and everything else so we're on board with your band here straight away whenever you've got a new video feel free to send it over we'll check it out we'll talk about it uh, and just talk about how cool you are for being in a one-man band and doing it all yourself that's what i think anyway hope you're having a good day today guys as i say we're all fully booked up for this week with a bunch of exclusive subs uh so hit the subscribe button if you want to check out new bands every day Otherwise, we'll see when we see you next. Cheers. Bye.